All right, clone. Looks like you got another test for me here, and this is another B mod test for you because you figured out tubes. All right, it's good. So let's get into it. And I don't know. Since you like commentary, I thought I might as well just give commentary for your test. I could also like showcase my thought process when going through these. That'd be kind of fun. Come on, you've already solved it once. Nice. Alright, well, let's try over here. Yeah, see, these um, panel things, they're, they're like glitched for me. I can't use them. The panel. Alright, looks like I only have that one cube. Okay. Let's see what's over. Oh, I can't go over there. Right? Yeah, no, there's no way. I don't know if there's anything over there I need to grab. Let's go. This is. Hmm. Oh, I have a portable surface there. Alright. That helps a little bit. Alright, so there's a two cube problem. Alright, looks like I could go over, back over here. Over here. Be sure to jump. Yeah. I want to place a portal there first and I should get the cube through. Okay, so now I can figure out what these buttons do. What's that do? I don't know. I probably just need these for the exit. Okay. And in that case, let's figure out what I need to do to get this second cube. So I obviously want a portal there. Let's see here. Oh, I could just grab it like that. I didn't think of that. All right. I was thinking I have to use the orange funnel to bring it through the portal and, and up through here. Well, I guess not. It's fine. Okay, what did that do? Oh, wait. There we go. Through here. Alright, let's see what we have here. Laser. Need square. Is that square? Yep. Although that's kind of awkward. Oh, it's still possible, maybe. Yeah, that's still possible. I don't know if that's completely. I guess it is intended because I don't think there's much of anything else I could do in here. No. Okay. Gives me a portable surface, I guess, up there. Um, yeah, let's hit that button again. Oh, good, you have an anti soft lock. Alright, so what did that button do? Oh, this. Duh. Okay, is this going to open? Nice. Right. Is that it? Alright, that's it. Hmm. Okay. Not bad at all. I'm trying to think of uh, what else you could do here. Alright. So, right, I, I like the puzzles. Definitely is more of a puzzle. Um, it definitely took my advice of like making the, I don't know, like more of a, a test instead of like a series of, I don't want to say like mini games, but a series of a bunch of small tests. 
Um, I like that. So, um, you know, it is, you know, a big blocky test. So, right, I think I think you're new to B mod, so you could definitely try to um, decorate it a little bit. I like what you did with the t tubes, dude. That's that's kind of fun, though. Um, what's this over here? I don't know if I did this intended. It's probably not. Um, what else? Do I fall when I walk over this? No. Okay. I'm trying to think. So, I'm thinking other things you could do to make this even better is to reuse some um, testing elements. So, there's this gap here, right, to get over here. And, right, portaling is, oops, portaling is easy. But I think it'd be cool if you can somehow use the funnel to get over there. So there'd be like a portable, like instead of a portable area here, the, the area portable area could be moved here, and you'll then somehow like place a portal where this blue, um, or or what else you could do is have one of these buttons change the polarity of this funnel, and have the other cube here so you have a portal there and like a portal here and that will push you through here that'd be kinda cool um... for the second area I don't know I'm guessing this is intended cause I don't think there's any other way to do it how you kinda like sneakily place a portal there Um, I, I mean, I don't know. I guess that's fine, really. What else do you do here? I think maybe another cool thing you could do here is that you only use this laser once, right? You only use it there. So it would be cool if this was like a reflecting cube. And you would have to... Let's see here. There that. And I don't know, maybe do something like move. Oh, I probably can't move that panel there. All right, well, push this wall back one and then move this panel here. So you will have a laser going through. And the laser hit this reflecting cube and hit like uh, another receptor so you can move and that will activate this. I don't know, more things you could do. You know, just reusing test elements. See. Um, I guess something else you could do is you could make this into one button. Uh, how would you do that? I don't know. Maybe you could have like an angled platform somewhere. So you have a portal there. I guess that doesn't really help. Never mind. Yeah, no. I got nothing there. And then maybe... Eh, actually, that, I guess that's fine. You can clearly see that. I don't know, yeah. Definitely is a... Wheatley test, though. With the... The Abyss. And... I don't know. I know this is like kind of your thing, but it's also something that... Wheatley could do. Huh. Oh, I guess I could actually do actually do something like this as well. Um, what you can do is, I guess we need two cubes for that though. Yeah, I was thinking um, you could go through here, like this, and then drop this somewhere so this changes polarity, and you go through and place a orange portal there. Right, that'd be kind of cool. Like this, like the cube will drop on the button. Yeah, it changes polarity, and place the orange portal there. You go through, and you get to this second area. That'd be kind of cool. You know, just kind of clean up these buttons a little bit because there's four buttons, and you could reduce that to like two or three, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, solid test is a. Uh, How do I want to say it? 
I don't know. Yeah, this is a solid test. There's nothing wrong about it. It is a e little bit easy. It has good detail, though, like all of that stuff. Break that screen. I don't know. Yeah. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that'd be kind of cool. Hmm. I don't know, I guess that's it. Yeah, solid test, man. Good job.